Hi, this is Eleanor with Do Your Own Dentures. It's June 27th, 2019. Yesterday I had the privilege of talking to another member of the group and as we spoke, some things I had forgotten came back to mind. One issue was that of both of the homemade dentures that I have, the tops and the bottoms will interchange and one will interchange better than the other. Now I have a friend I get together with almost weekly <clears throat> and one time she told me the combination of upper and lower teeth I had in were really the killer. She said those are real teeth. She said you've done it there. Well I had forgotten which uppers which lowers were fitting together but today I accidentally put in the upper, my July denture, the one that I have the uh, roof cut out in, and the lower one, which I had named my December denture. So I put these in, and I thought, hey, that is really the combination. <clears throat> now. The lower one, I was always concerned because in that set of, I made, the teeth were just a shade, just a half a shade, a portion of a shade, a little darker. But as I put them in today, I thought, you know what? That makes sense. And it does look okay. It's actually, with this lower denture, I don't have that puffing out that I did with my Julia Roberts dentures, which I'll show you. In the Julia Roberts dentures, alias July dentures, I really beefed up the plastic part trying to get the Foy dentures look, the Fountain of Youth, where it fills out your mouth. Well, I overdid it with the July dentures, and then I I sanded down here a lot, but on this lower one, I still had the teeth and everything set out a little too far, which I'll show you. Now this, it's not bad. It's not bad. But, is it better with having the December denture on the bottom and the July denture in the top? Now I notice my teeth come together better. Who knows? Maybe, maybe I got the whole things mixed up before and maybe the July denture on the bottom is the December denture in the bottom. Who knows? Anyway, when you make dentures, try to make them so your bottom one fits. And if you need another set, you may only need to make the uppers if you want a different setting of the uh, front teeth, whatever. Anyway, that's my update for now. And uh, also, if you have dentures that you got from someplace else, do not throw them away yet. Take them out, soak them up, and see if they can be worked with. If they can be adjusted, maybe the Maybe the palette needs trimmed down, sanded down so it doesn't gag you. Maybe you're getting jabbed here or there. Maybe that just sharp spots need to be taken off. Maybe if they're too big, you can just put a reline it kit in them. When you've spent a lot of money on them and they're not doing you any good, you might as well see if they can do you some good. I was very pleased that one of the members said yesterday or the day before he'd had a pair of dentures that he had on the shelf for two years. His part, his copay was $2,300 in those and he could not wear them. That's pretty sad. He got on the group, he learned to adjust them, he made that decision himself, he, had, he adjusted them and now he can wear them. And I gotta say, he sent me a picture and he does look fantastic in them. But he said he can eat. 
and live again. I was really happy that somebody could get that much out of the group. Take care and uh, please, if you can, if you feel like it, I would love to video face chat with people because even when I've learned something, I tend to forget it because I'm here all by myself working and that's where I'm at. So check in. I hope you're enjoying the Do Your Own Dentures group.